Hello, welcome. Today let's try to solve lead code problem 1918, case smallest subarray sum. So for this problem, we are given an integer array nums. So for this example, nums is 2, 1, and 3. And we are also given an integer k. So in this example, k equals to 4. We need to return the case smallest subarray sum. We need to understand what is a subarray. Subarray is uh, defined as a non-empty continuous sequence of elements in an array. So for example, 2, 1, 3 is a subarray. 2, 1 is also subarray. 1, 3 is also subarray. 2, 1, 3 is also subarray. It must be not empty and it must be continuous. And a subarray sum is the sum of all the elements in the subarray. So it's straightforward. Yeah. Now let's try to solve this problem. But yeah, for such problem, how can we solve it? We need to check the constraints. So n is uh, the nums less, and it is uh, 2 times 10 to the power of 4, and the nums i is 5 times 10 to the power of 4. So this means you cannot solve it uh, by using the time complexity of uh, on square. It means if you use a prefix sum, and then you're going to use a brute force to solve it, it's going to be time limit exceeded. Yeah, you must and try to solve it uh, using on or n log n. Yeah, I didn't find a way to solve it in on, but there definitely there is a way to solve it in n log n time. Yeah, now let's try to yes find the n log n time solution. So for the nums, all the numbers inside of the nums is positive, so it means it is a monotonic increasing. If uh, yeah, if we try to use the prefix sum. But yeah, even we try to use uh, the sum to sum up uh, the numbers, for example, 2 plus 1, it is uh, 3. 2 plus 1 plus uh, 3, it is uh, 6. It means uh, the numbers will always be monotonic increasing. So for example, the first number is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 is uh, more than 2, and 2 plus 1 plus 3 is uh, 6 is more than 3. It means it is always monotonic increasing. If it is monotonic increasing, we can solve it by using yeah, binary search to get the answer. So I'm going to use a sliding window with binary search to solve the problem. So for the binary search part, we definitely, basically we're going to guess a number. So for example, inside of the nums, definitely we're going to guess our smallest number is going to be 1. And what is going to be the maximum possible result? It's going to be 6, 2 plus 1 plus 3. Yeah, we just guess the number between 1 and uh, 6. Now. If we guess a number, for example, this number might be 3. Yeah, if k equals to 4, so the, the fourth smallest number is 3. But how can we use a sliding window to check if it is 3? Yeah, so for this number, we're going to use a sliding window to check. So for the first number, it is 2. 2 is less than 3, so it's one possible result. Now we're going to use a sliding window to check 2 and 1. 2 and 1 equals to 3. 3 is less than or equal to 3, it is a possible result. But for this 2 and 1, we're going to count it as 2, because 2 and 1 is a result, 1 is also a result. So we're going to use the pointer r minus l plus 1 to count it as 2. So 1 plus 2, there are two possible results. Yeah. If we're going to plus 3, it's going to be 6. 6 is more than 3, Yeah, because we're going to check the result of 3. So it means not possible, so we're going to shift to the left pointer 1 and 3. So for 1 and 3, it is 4. 4 is more than 3, it's not possible. So we're going to shift the left pointer to 3. 3 is less than or equal to 3, so it is possible. So before, we have a 3 count. Now we're going to plus another count, it is 1. So it is 4. So the count is 4. 4 is equal to this k. So it means it is uh, the result. So we're going to return this number 3. Yeah. Now let's get back to the code. I think if you are checking the code, it would be much easier to understand because it's basically a monotonic increasing line for the numbers. If it is monotonic increasing, we're going to use the binary search to guess it. So for the binary search, we need to find the smallest number and the biggest number. Yeah. So let me first write the binary search part. So for the L, R, and the result. So this is my template. So for the L, yeah, you can use the smallest number. The uh, minimum of uh, nums, it can be the possible result. And uh, you can also use uh, the sum of all the numbers because uh, this can be the maximum number. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, 
there, there will always be a possible result for the case of smallest number. Yeah. So we can use the sum of the nouns because there is always a possible result. If it is not, we're going to return some values. But in this question, in the description, there is always a possible result for the case of smallest sub sum. Yeah. And the result will be uh, zero or the minimum of the nouns. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Or you can use the L to the zero and R to to this value. Uh, 5 times 10 to the power of 4 and times 2 times 10 to the power of 4 because this is going to be the maximum number but uh, for us this is on this is more yeah accurate so the smallest number and the biggest number is going to be the sum of the nums and uh, the result can be any numbers i just give it a minimum of the nums yeah now let's uh, try to use uh, the template of uh, bunny first so while l less than or equal to r, we're going to check the mid value, which would be l plus r minus l and divided by 2. Now I'm going to check it, if check, mm, yeah, so this I'm, I'm going to write this check function later, because this check function just going to check if it is possible or not, yeah, if check with this m with this value, I'm going to update the result would be equal to m and the r pointer would be equal to m uh, minus 1. Yeah, because if this m is uh, possible, it, it means at least we can find uh, some numbers less, yeah, uh, less than and equal to uh, this uh, stress, yeah, uh, less than equal to uh, yeah, uh, it means at least we can find four numbers for this example k equal to 4. And for this threshold m, we can at least find four numbers. It means it is possible. So we're going to get a result of this m. Yeah, And the r pointer and the value of r may be smaller. So the r would be equal to m minus 1. So this is 1 and minus 1 because it can be smaller. Yeah. Otherwise, we're going to update the L pointer would be equal to M plus 1 because if uh, it is uh, not possible so we're going to yeah we're going to choose a bigger threshold for this M and finally we just need to return this uh, result yeah now let's get get back to the uh, check function so for this check actually inside it is a threshold yeah and we're going to check if uh, it is uh, possible for this uh, threshold. Yeah. Basically, we're going to I'm going to prepare a count and uh, L pointer and uh, yeah. So the count would be equal to 0 and the L pointer would be setting from uh, 0. Yeah, let's let's uh, see if I need uh, some more values. Yeah. While I'm writing the check function. So I'm going to write the sliding window part. So for our n in enumer read the nums. I'm going to check how many numbers meet the condition as I explained earlier. Yeah, so first I'm going to start from this number 2. Yeah, so I'm going to prepare uh, a value so the plus equal to this n. So the value is the total sum. Let me name it uh, total. Yeah, so from the beginning the total would be equal to 0 also. Yeah, and uh, I'm gonna check if this this total. So while this total is more than the threshold. Yeah, let let, let me check. So uh, I'm gonna check this k. So it's not threshold. Threshold is just for me. Yeah, to check this threshold if it is possible. And this k is the case number. Uh, it's not compared with k. k is the case number. I'm gonna check the threshold. So while the total is more than the threshold, for example, yeah, if this total is a 6, the threshold, yeah, I put it inside is a 3. If it is more than the threshold, it means it's not possible. Yeah, I, I need to update the left pointer. But before updating the left pointer, I need to update the total first. So the total would be minus uh, the value of uh, nums uh, L. 
yeah, and then I need to update the left pointer. Otherwise, I, I'm sure I've already met the condition I need to count how many of the subarrays. So the count would be plus r minus l plus 1. So this means if uh, it is possible, 2 is one possible result Yeah, for this 2. 2, 1 is another possible result. So I'm going to plus 2 because 2, 1, it includes 2, 1 and 1. Yeah, 2, 1 and 3 not possible. I'm going to shift it to 1, 3 not possible and I'm going to shift it to 3. So if uh, the threshold is 3, I have uh, how many numbers? I have 4. So the numbers already meet the condition. So finally, I just need to check. I just need to return if this count is more than and equal to this k. It means uh, uh, this check is valid. I've already find, find it. Yeah. If this check is a possible result, so the result would be m. Yeah. So our yeah. If check, I've already updated the result, but it can be a smaller number, so the r would be equal to m minus one. Yeah. Now let me run it to check if it works. Yeah, as you can see, it works. Now let me submit it to check if it can pass all the testing cases. As you can see, it's 100% passed all the passing case cases, and it's 25. Now let's analyze the time complexity. First of all, let's analyze the binary search part. So for the binary search part, actually, this is the, um, this is the log k. So k is uh, the sum of nums. So some of the nums can be a very big number. It may be 10 to the power of 8 or 9. Yeah, if this number times this number, it can be 10 to the power of 9. So this is k. And here for the sliding window part, it is the check function. Actually, this is the on time complexity. So the final time complexity is k log n. Thank you for watching. See you next time.